All right guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you 12 of the greatest Android mods I've come across all year. I think you're gonna like this video, so let's get right into it. First up, we've got JB Lock Now, which allows you to hold down your home button to turn your screen off. Pretty useful if your device is on a table or just in an awkward position, and you don't need to root your phone to use this. Volume Control is a handy little bar that hides just above your navigation keys, and when you use it, it adjusts overall volume, not just notification volume, not just media volume, all of it. To me, this is better than the way Android traditionally handles volume. If you're watching a video on low volume, you'd probably also want any message notifications to also be on low volume. Substratum is a powerful customization tool, but one that would normally need your phone to be rooted. But there is a workaround called Andromeda, which I've used on my Note 9 to get it working without this. And I gotta say, the flexibility it gives you over the way your device looks is a lot of fun. For example, as you can see here, you can install a dark mode, making all of your menus, first party apps, as well as WhatsApp go dark, which not only looks cool, but also saves battery on OLED screens because black pixels can be turned off. Frost is a really interesting new way to use Facebook. As you can see, I've got a dark mode running on the phone now, but really that's only scratching the surface of the customization on offer here. The app also automatically removes irrelevant and sponsored posts and allows you to download videos directly. We've actually seen quite a few different applications like this, but Battery Dash is my number one go-to battery indicator. Once enabled, it creates a little notch in a design of your choice at the top of your display, which shows your battery percentage. And the benefit of that, as opposed to having it in your status bar, is that it can display across any application, as well as change color to indicate when you reach certain percentages. Now, this one is really for the people who are using a flagship Samsung smartphone. If you find that you're a big user of the edge panels, then edge volume control is a bit of a no-brainer. Once you install it, no matter what application you're using on your smartphone, you just swipe from the right and you can change all your different volumes separately on the fly. So for the people who hold their smartphones in the bottom right like I do, this stops you having to reach up for the volume buttons. EQFi is brilliant, one of my favorites on this list. It is a global equalizer for your smartphone. It works on Spotify too, and all I really did was drag up the bass and the mid sliders to compensate for the high-pitched speaker output on most phones. Unseen allows you to remain, well, just that, if you're the kind of person who wants to read your incoming messages straight away. Without the pressure of feeling like you need to reply, then once installed, Unseen will collate all your messages from all your social medias and allow you to view them here without alerting the other person. As someone who loves to work quickly and get things done on time, I really appreciated Talk Faster. It's a plugin for WhatsApp that allows you to adjust the speed at which voice messages play back. All you need to do when someone sends you a voice message is hit the share button and then share it with the application. And this little pop-up will appear which allows you to play it faster or even slower and with the option to skip silences. For those of you who aren't massive fans of Google Assistant, this mod is a way to get some slightly different functionality out of it. Once enabled, it allows you to remap that action that would have previously brought up the Google Assistant to quite a few other different things. For example, you could make it turn the flashlight on, or you could use it as a shortcut to open up any one of the applications installed on your phone. Touch Bar is something that I could only get working on about 50% of the phones I tried it on, but when it works, it's quite a neat solution to making a lot of the commands that are normally at the top of the screen much more reachable. It's inspired by the MacBook Pro Touch Bar, which means you've got volume, you've got brightness, you've got all your quick settings as well, things like airplane mode as well as cellular data. Then we've got Audify, a way to get your smartphone to read out notifications for you. It's pretty handy if you're trying to watch a video or listen to music while at the same time making sure you're keeping up to date. Gmail says, Arun Mani, testing the new Audify mod for Android. What I would say though is that whilst it's great at reading out short WhatsApp messages, it's slightly less efficient when it comes to Amazon order receipts that might come to your email, but you can set it up accordingly. All right guys, really appreciate you watching till the end. If you are new to the channel, as always, would mean a lot to me if you could smash that subscribe button. My name is Aaron, this is Mr. Who's the Boss, and I'll catch you in the next one.